guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a transformation. We're going to be doing some really fun things in this video to change my appearance, kind of like glow up before summer begins. I'm filming this like a month before summer, but I'm like really excited. I'm getting my nails done, my hair done, maybe a piercing. I personally love filming these videos because it's kind of almost self-care to me. Like I'm just doing a bunch of fun things and we're all doing this in a span of 24 hours. But here's what I look like before. My hair is up in a clip because it's just not cute right now. Nails are grown out. I have no makeup on. You get the gist. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. First things first, I'm getting my nails done. I haven't been to the salon in a hot minute, but I have an appointment for a manicure and a pedicure. I'm actually going to pick up coffee bean first though. But here are my nails currently. I've had this for over a month now. For calm season and everything, we need like a nude beige, just like very neutral color because we can't have any like bold colors on stage when we perform. So that's why I've had these. But comp season is now over. We just had our last show. So that means now I can get a fun color. I definitely want to get something blue. I'm not really sure if I want to design it or literally just get the color, but I'm definitely going to get coffin shape and like probably pretty long. Not too long, but pretty long. So we'll see. I'll just look at the colors and then see what I decide, but I'll let you guys know. And then for my toes, I'm probably just going to get white. I feel like that's pretty basic enough, but I'm so excited. I love the nail salon and I miss it so much. <laughs> Okay, I'm not the next one. <laughs> Let's go! I've been thinking about good times. So tell me all your words are. I believe them if I try. For the sake of time, just uh, give me the eye. I've been thinking about. I said, about don't blow my heart. I'm on that carpet ride. I've been swerving, I'm a servant to my magic side. I was in a magic city. Okay, so I ended up just getting like this royal blue, no design or anything. I just wanted a blue color. Also, it's so hot outside today. It's like 80 something. But anyways, I really like my nails. I got coffin shape. They're kind of long. And then my toes, I got white. Oh, I didn't really explain why I got blue in the first place. Okay, so basically in like two, three weeks, we have our last class comp of the school year. And if you didn't know, my class color is blue. So I wanted to get like spirited nails. So that's like basically the reason why I got blue. I also just think it's a nice color. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go home and eat something because it's lunchtime and I'm really hungry. So let's do that real quick and then we'll get back into the transformation. Hello, happy <laughs> transformation day. Transformation day. You want to tell them what's the next step? <laughs> she is going to get her navel pierced. Yes, belly button piercing. Ah! I am so excited. So I've actually been wanting to get my belly button pierced for like a little bit now, but like same thing with my nails. We can't have piercings on stage for comp season. So now that comp season is over, I'm getting a belly button piercing. Loki scared, like kind of nervous, but I'm definitely more excited. So we have an appointment at a tattoo like body piercing shop and I hope they can let me record. I'll record as much as I can, but yeah. My mom would like to say something. So Nicole's 16 and that's on the younger side of being able to do something like this. Yeah. So you obviously have to get 100% approval from your parents. <laughs> and that just because she's 16 doesn't mean that you should when you're 16. It's a different case for each child, um, child in general. So whatever your parents say, respect that yeah. and know that when it's your time, it's your time. Basically, she's just saying yeah. listen to your parents and like yeah. don't. Just because Nicole's getting it at a younger age doesn't mean that like all people should like, do that. Like it's okay. Too. It's okay for me, but yeah. it could be different for like your situation. So just listen to your parents is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to add that. <laughs> My mom actually got one when she was younger. So then I was asking her like, did it hurt? Like blah, blah, blah. Do you want to tell them about your experience? I know that was like, what, a hundred years ago? No, I, <laughs> but like you haven't had your piercing in for a while. So like, yes, because I got pregnant. Oh yeah. <laughs> so like, did it hurt when you first got what? it? What? I don't remember it hurt, but I remember okay. it being super cute when I, yeah. I've yeah. just seen videos like it's different with everyone obviously like some people say it really hurts some people say it doesn't hurt at all so we will I mean even if it hurts it's just temporary so yeah it's, it's just like, like a little pinch I'm assuming because that's like every piercing this one you might feel yeah. it a little bit more I think they have you like inhale and then when you exhale they, then they like, like give it to you I see are you gonna get like a cute little diamond or have uh, you thought about it probably like the basic one there's like heart piercing why do you want a basic one what what's a basic one does it have a diamond in it yes that's not basic it's not. I mean, I don't know if there's it's more basic ones than that. Do you see the okay. ones that hangs? Yeah, I don't think I want that yet. I know. Like maybe I'll do that in the future, but I think for like the first one, it should be 
just like a diamond thingy. So if you wear a crop shirt, you should probably uh -huh. wear pants. So you have to <laughs> even out. Like you yeah, can't yeah. wear. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta go shopping. Mom's again. gonna make a dress code for me now that I have Not a dress code. I don't ask for much. I just want you to cover your cheeks. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Summer is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Hopefully, because I'm doing this like middle of May, and then summer begins middle of June. So I'm hoping it'll have time to heal before summer. Cause like I don't know how long it takes, but like I'm assuming I can't go in the ocean like tomorrow after I get it. So like hopefully like with the month of healing, then it'll be okay for summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're almost at the pizza shop. I will see you guys when we get there. Cheers. What are you doing? <laughs> we're here. Why are you filming me like I'm getting it done? <laughs> Baby, getting it first. <laughs> Basically, they had to do an anatomy navel check just to see like if my belly button can actually be pure Because I think like some people's skin aren't developed yet or something like that, but we're good You have an adult belly button? I guess so. Five minutes. The piercing's gonna happen! Keeps blocking my way I can't feel farther away Wait on a moment to say that I want you You know that I want you It did hurt when he did it. I mean, I feel fine right now, obviously. But like, you guys could probably hear me in the video. But yeah, it was like a really bad pitch. But for aftercare, they just said I could clean it in the shower. Try to sit at an incline, kind of like this. And then also don't lay on my stomach like when I sleep. Try to wear low-waisted pants. And it's recommended to not swim for like three months, but they said one month is fine, I think. But yeah, overall, a really good experience. I really like that place. They were really nice. Yeah, they were all really nice. And like, the guy who did it, he seemed really confident and stuff, so. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Where's yours, honey? What? <laughs> She's a cutie. <laughs> Sadie, do you like my navel piercing? Sadie doesn't like it. <laughs> Hi guys, it's now the next morning. Before we get on with the rest of the transformation, I wanted to give you guys a little update on my navel piercing. I love it. <laughs> and it doesn't even hurt either. So yesterday was the first night that I slept with it. I did try sleeping on my back for the whole night, but even if I like turned real quick and like accidentally laid on it, it felt fine. Like I don't feel any pain. The only pain I felt was when I was actually getting it pierced. But I'm hoping the healing process will go really smooth. Here's another pair of pants that I have that are low waisted. These are the airy flare leggings. But yeah, I just really like it and I'm glad that I got it. Anyways, the next step in this transformation is my hair. I have an appointment at the salon and I'm getting bangs. This is what I'm asking for. Bangs to the length of my eyes and then they can also curtain out so then I can like wear it multiple ways. I don't really know. This might be a really bad decision, <laughs> but we're never gonna know if we don't try. I'm not gonna color my hair. The last time I colored it or the first time I colored it was January and it's definitely gone lighter and a lot of people think I want to go blonder or like more light, but I'm actually okay with this color. So I think I'm gonna keep the color. I'm just getting it cut. I don't know whether to be excited or nervous because I feel like hair is just like a big factor to someone's appearance you know the only experience i have with bangs is back in like 2020 i got curtain bangs but they were small i feel like they weren't too big of a change so yeah we're gonna leave to the salon soon so let's go get my hair cut
bang bang. Bang bang. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, she curled my hair. And then we have the bangs. It's cute. <laughs> they can either go out like this or they can like go down, but we have to figure out how to style them. I think it'll just take me a little bit to get used to, but like, I don't think it's bad. It's just like, you know. Different. Yeah. We'll so style it at home and I just have to get posted. Used to it. But we're gonna eat some lunch right now and then I'll see you guys in a bit. But here's my new hair. Okay, you. <laughs> All right, I'm back home. I think I'm slowly getting more used to my hair. It's just one of those things like when you come out of the salon, it's like really poofy. Like it just needs to die down a little bit. Cause like when I was walking out of the salon, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like it. But I think it's growing on me, so that's good. But last part of this transformation is do some makeup. I don't have any on right now, but we're just gonna do some natural little products real quick to finish this video off. Okay, so first I'm starting off with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is just the normal one. This is one of my favorite products of all time. I put this on in the morning at nighttime. For brows, I use the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Brow Gel. I'm running out. I'm probably gonna get a new one soon. But I'm just gonna brush my eyebrow hairs out, make sure all of them are going the same way. And then next we have a mascara. I take my lashes very seriously and I use all of these products. First, I go in with the Dior Lash Serum and Primer. Dior Show Maximizer 3D. It looks like this like white and then it's supposed to make your lashes look longer and then also make your mascara stay on for a longer time so first i'm just gonna brush my eyelashes out make sure they're not clumped together then i put the primer on I just do a few coats make sure that i get each lash i'm just gonna let that dry for a little so while that dries i'm gonna go in with honest beauty blush this is their cream blush and then i use their beauty blender so i'm just gonna wet it real quick this is the shade peony pink i think it's so cute i just take a little on the butt side <laughs> butt side is that what it's called butt side of the beauty blender and then i start right here and just bounce it on my cheeks i love blush i also put some on my nose i think it's fun and it just like blends nicely. My skin isn't the most clear at the moment. I think it's because I've been putting on a bunch of makeup for show. I've had like foundation, primer, all of that. I'm just like caked on my face for hours. So I probably want to apply makeup, like face makeup at least for a little bit. Just so that like it can calm down and I can let my skin breathe. But for the video, I'm putting on makeup. Okay, so now that the serum is dried on my lashes, I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the order I use my mascaras in. Maybelline Sky High. It's good for lengthening. If I could choose one mascara, I'd probably choose this one. And after that, I go in with the lash sensational also for maybelline this one's more for like voluminizing and then for funsies just to top it off i use the l'oreal telescopic this one's also for lengthening so i get sky high and i focus this on the bottom and then kind of like wiggle it to the top and i will take lash sensational and this one i really only focus it on the bottom Okay, and then the last mascara, L'Oreal one, I focus on the tops of my lashes. Honestly, this step isn't really needed. I kind of just do it for fun. Okay. And then I'll take a Q-tip with water just so I could get like the excess on my eyelashes. I mean, on my eyelids. And makeup is done. All right, you guys, this is the end of the transformation. Here is the final look. But thank you guys for coming along. I hope you had fun helping me change my appearance a little bit. I would just like to add that you don't need any of these things to look better or help you feel beautiful. You're perfect just the way you are. I just like filming these transformation videos because I think they're fun. Doing stuff like getting my nails done or like getting my hair done, it's just all for fun. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and go cop some positivity pill merch. I'll see you guys back in another video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye. Thank you.